Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, I'm gonna do a video inspired by Nikki Tutorials. Uh, it's called The Power of Makeup. So I'm gonna do half of my face with my makeup. I mean, I'm gonna do makeup for half of my face and just leave it, leave the other side like this. So yeah, um, I'm gonna link the video of her and this Persian pop. So yeah, let's just get started. First thing I'm gonna do, my face. I'm using the Simple Clear Skin Oil Balance Moisturizer because I have oily face so I find this one is really cheap and nice. Next I'm going to do my eyebrows. What I'm going to use is this uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills in Deep Pearl Pomade in color granite. I'm going to use this brush from Real Techniques. I'm going to put it in the back of my hand and just start drawing. I'm going to start from the I'm going to use my sleek, just to use this fully brush. So it's just blend. I don't want the front part of my brows to look harsh, so I usually do this. Next, I'm going to lock it with my Pearl Artist Plumber by L'Oreal. Next, I'm going to prime my face. I'm using Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. Yeah, it's for men. Yep. Uh, I saw Nikki Tutorial's video and she used it for primer because she said that it contains glycerin and glycerin make your makeup like stick, make a stickier foundation to your face so it won't go anywhere. So yeah, I'm going to Because I'm not going to do the other side, so I'm gonna rub it until it gets sticky. Yep. Done. <laughs> and then next I'm gonna put my foundation. Shake. I'm using my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in color Cadence. For one side of the face, so I'm gonna use my pump. I'm just gonna dab it all over my face. Ooh. I have this coloration on my face, that's why if you look at my foundation, it looks too dark right now. But when I blend it, it's not. I'm gonna use this uh, flat brush from Morphe to blend the foundation. And I'm just gonna blend it away with my beard blender just to spread it even more. Next, I'm gonna do my concealer. I'm using Ella Girl Pro Conceal HD Definition High Definition Concealer. I really like this. This is so cheap, but it's nice. You know, put a little bit some here because it's so thick. You put a little, it goes a long way. This is a crease brush, but it's so dense. I'm using this for blending my concealer. I'm just gonna blend it again with my beauty blender. Just to tap it in. And then next, I'm gonna set the concealer so you won't crease. 
I'm using the Match Perfection Silkyless Face Powder. This is a translucent one, so it's like transparent. I'm using this sponge. Stain matte powder, and I'm using this brush. I don't know what it's called. I, I got I, I bought a set from Morphe, and it didn't show like numbers or anything like that. So yeah, this one I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna swirl my powder and blend everything. So yeah, next I'm gonna prime my eyelid with my Lorac eye primer. I got it free from the palette I bought from the Laura Pro palette. So I'm just gonna blend it really down here because I use eyeshadow all over the place. Yeah. And I'm gonna use my Morphe 350 palette that I just got to do the eye makeup today. When it's arrived, it's like one broke and it's all over the place. I was so sad, but I mean, it's all right. There's still some left, and I, I think I have like similar color in the other palette, so should be fine. But look at this though. All right, first I'm gonna take this soft brown to put all over my lids. Yep, and I'm gonna take this. Uh, bit muted orange it's not too dark it's like faded orange like brownie orange I don't know. I'm just gonna put it all over my crease I'm gonna take this it's base shadow brush but I use it for like sometimes crease I don't know, I just use it. I'm gonna take this warm dark brown. I'm just gonna put it all over my crease, but like more in the bottom one. Like this area to darken up my eye. And next I'm gonna use this flat brush by Morphe too. And I'm gonna use this amazing copper shade. I'm gonna put it all over my like my main area. Okay, it's amazing. Yep. Yeah. And I'm gonna use this angled shadow brush, and I'm gonna put the darkest brown. Not the darkest, like I want to put really dark brown. I'm gonna put it in the corner of my eye. So it's gonna be dark. I'm gonna use this black, uh, black uh, hair brush from Morphe and just like blend it all up together. So it will be harsh. Next, I'm gonna soft angle brush I'm gonna put the darkest brown I used earlier like really close to my waterline like really really close and I'm gonna take this accent brush it's so small and and I'm gonna put the orange I used earlier for my upper crease and just take the orange and then blend it with the dark brown under the eye. Oh, forgot something. Something to brighten up the eye. I'm gonna take this shimmery color that's broke. Just gonna put it in the corner of my eye. Then next, I'm going to line my waterline with the color rich like like coal <laughs> in 101 Midnight Black by L'Oreal. It's so bad. Yeah. 
and I'm going to do the upper waterline. And I'm going to take my Kiko Ultimate Pen Long Wearing Eyeliner to line my eyes. For this look, I'm going to use the Eyler Lashes in volume 1, number 70. And I'm going to put my mascara, I'm using the Roller Lash Mascara by Benefit for my upper lash. And I'm using the Is It Telescopic Mascara by L'Oreal for my bottom lash. The camera died because the memory is full. I forgot to delete the video, previous video that I found with Stenio. That's why. So yeah, I already mascara on my bottom lash. Next, I'm going to contour my face. Yep, this face is she. Alright, I'm going to start with bronzing my face first. I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in Medium Dip. And I'm using this brush by Little Technics. This is the Duo Fiber brush. I'm just gonna swirl it. Just put it here around my cheek. And then put it bit on my temple, side of my face. I love bronzer so much and brings so much warmth to your face so it's really nice. And I'm going to contour my face. I'm using this palette that I've been using for my for the mirror. I'm using this sleep face foam contouring and blush palette. I'm using the darkest brown right here. I'm gonna use this white hair brush. It's a little bit angled, so it's like nice for contouring. I'm just gonna take a little bit of product and a little bit. And I'm gonna start from here until like about here. If it's too harsh, just take the brush before and just swirl it. Just to make it blur. Next, I'm going to put blush. This time I'm using this Bouncy Blush by Kiko in Treasure Rose. I'm using this black hair brush. Uh, it's quite small for like face brush, so yeah, it's, I think it's really nice to be precise for the blush. Yeah, I'm just gonna tap it in and then blow it on my face. I used to be scared of blush because I have like dark skin, like dark. I mean, for like Indonesian, I have to like dark skin, so I still be scared of blush I, because I don't want to look like clown or something like that. But yeah, if it's too harsh, again, back to your bronzer brush and just sort of. Last but not least, I'm using this <laughs> the highlight by uh, the Balm Mary Luminizer. Everyone likes it, everyone raves about this. And I'm using this fan brush by e.l.f. Your contour, blush, and then highlight and the top. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, because of like comparing the face, I want to look so bold. So I'm using red lipstick today. I'm gonna line my lips with this Gosh Cardinal Red. this Stila All Day Liquid Lipstick. This is my favorite formula of lip liquid lipstick beside the Lime Crime because like it's the Lime Crime brand is not supported by so many people anymore because of the scandal and everything. So yeah. But this one is more into like moosey, moosey, what is it? Texture. 
but after it's, it dries, oh my god, it feels so nice and comfortable. Can I put it on? This is it. Look at the difference though. Like, oh god. Yeah, I don't have that nice brow. It's alright. It's not like I don't like my face without the makeup, but I love doing makeup. Like, I love applying makeup. I love to wake up early, like two hours early to take a shower and then get ready to school and wear all the makeup. I just love makeup. I love collecting them. I love like swatching them and looking at them. Like, she's nice. So yeah, and like more, uh, makeup is art. Uh, it's like the way you express yourself to your face. It's just, pa it's just like painting your face. Like yeah, <laughs> and it makes you look better. <laughs> but I'm fine with like this face of mine, uh, this side of my face. I mean, Stan is also fine with me without makeup. He preferred me without makeup. He always like, why you make wear makeup so much? I'm fine with you not wearing makeup and everything. But I love makeup, so.